For three centuries, Mozart's famous opera, The Magic Flute, the Zauberflöte, has been performed around the world. The libretto is a story filled with adventures, initiation trials and endurance during the process of change, set in a mythological Egypt. Finally, the characters, all aspects of ourselves as we walk the road described in the magic flute, are merged into unity, love and freedom. The opera is loaded with symbolisms that break open our awareness. These symbols are doors of transformation and perception. Symbols from different cultures, like the Egyptian, Greek and Roman pantheons, embody similar concepts and can be interchangeable. The story represents a process of transformation of consciousness, reaching even beyond what science can measure, beyond Einstein's space-time, to a level where all polarities have disappeared. At this highest level of consciousness, pure love is pure unity, is pure freedom, and is the relativization of all contradictions. The magic flute affects people because it's an opera of love. It depicts the road of the ultimate reset, or resetting in love, and invites the audience to experience this. The ancient Egyptians already described a way to be able to live like a beam of sunlight, as the highest source of light, fire, and love that can shine from every atom. Through our experiences, our consciousness can reach an increasingly refined and abstract level of wisdom. The magic flute can help us get there. You could compare this to climbing the famous Mount Olympus that houses the Greek gods, with Zeus at its summit. As the opera progresses, we ascend through the sphere of influence of forces, or gods, that are increasingly higher in the psychic hierarchy. At the start of the opera, the characters are under the influence of the Egyptian god Set, and they'll subsequently pass through the spheres of influence of Horus, Isis, Osiris and Ra. In this process of light, fire and love, the gods transform along with them. This transformational path finally reaches outside of space and time, beyond distinct gods. The magic flute depicts an alchemical process, a transformation within the laboratory of our own psyche, from the lead being lived to the golden, true living in the highest inspiration. A road from a shallow, uninspiring present to a powerful, inspiring and creating present, the eternal now. Alchemy is the road of the art of living. Succeeding in this journey is called the great work, or opus magnum, which we can achieve through inner light, silence and fire. Light dissolves darkness and shows us the beautiful colours and shapes in the opera. Silence, intense silence, can be heard in Mozart's music. Fire, from which the story and music springs, can invite us to enthusiastically join in. The fainting and waking up in the opera represent the transition of letting go of the old level of consciousness, to ascend to the next. In alchemy, this is called solve et coagula, dissolve and coagulate, which means that something must be broken down before it can be built up. For renewed progress, one must constantly face these trials of earth, air, water and fire that represent letting go and restarting. Earth, for detachment of the material. Air, for acceptance of silence. Water, for cleansing, fire, for finding the right source of inspiration. What happens over the course of almost three hours in the opera can in reality happen in every nanosecond of every day. Tamino, Pamina and Papageno Papagena in the opera each represent an aspect of the ultimate reset. Processes of resetting, cleansing and regeneration respectively. In healthcare, Resetting is starting to play an increasingly important role. This can refer to resetting the body with a fever, but also the healing properties of resetting by receiving compassionate and reflective care. The ultimate reset leads to the knowing of the heart. The current state of affairs in the world yearns for it. In that sense, the magic flute is now more topical than ever. Tamino, Pamina and Papageno Papagena also represent the three levels of operation universally attributed to our bodies, head, heart and hands. Tamino represents head, sulphur in alchemy, 
At this level, prejudice, polarization, discrimination, and cognitive dissonance disappear. The opera references alchemical processes that help us focus on transformation in unity with the universe. Pamina represents heart, salt, in alchemy. At this level, we experience the union of the masculine and feminine within the psyche. Through love, we can allow processes to lead us to inner silence, peace and harmony. Papageno Papagena represents hands, mercury, in alchemy. At this level, we reach spontaneous, carefree and inspired behaviour. We can identify with the activities of the characters. The opera portrays perseverance, resulting in the ideal meeting with the other in freedom. The opus magnum in alchemy consists of three stages, corresponding with improving spirituality, psyche and personality. The negredo stage, blackening. During this stage, Tamino, Pamina and Papageno transform the body into a temple for assetting knowledge and insights to achieve spirituality. As egocentricity disappears, the ego acquires the ability for relativization. Osiris and Isis change from stray moon gods into heavenly sun gods. The created temple is three-dimensional with coordinates for length, height and width. These coordinates represent education culture, family and relation culture and street culture. With the help of knowledge of the mineral, plant and animal kingdoms, we can position human subpersonalities or archetypes along these three coordinates. The trials function as a mirror. This helps to escape a fixed pattern of education, family and relation and street cultures. The Albedo stage, whitening. This stage represents a purification of the heart and sophistication of intuition. Following the building of the temple, in the Albedo stage, a pyramid will be built. This symbolizes renewed open-hearted devotion. Pamina, like the salt in alchemy, has become whiter than chalk. Tamino has found new enthusiasm. Through their collaboration, Isis and Osiris are reunified as sun gods. Papageno is invited along in this transitional process and is united with his Papagena. The Rubedo stage, reddening. This stage represents a liberation of the hands, leading to increased inspiring activity. Following the temple and the pyramid, in the Rubedo stage an obelisk is created. The fire and the water trial unify Tamino and Pamina. The transformed Horus, Osiris and Isis merge as a unity into the sun god beyond space and time. With the obelisk, the individual has become like a sunbeam of the highest level. The androgynous entity, Papageno Papagena, has become like Hermes, the messenger of the gods in their original form. In the opera, the Papageno Papageno duet represents above all the idea that they have become the pure and divine child in all of us and are able to ignite the same within the other as true inspiration. <laughs>